When the electrohydraulic closing mechanism for the Vario roof on the new SL no longer functions, then you have to close the roof manually. The multi-instrument display shows that the electrohydraulic system is defective. Activate the parking brake and remove the ignition key. For vehicles equipped with the Magic Sky Control, code 412, please note the corresponding VIST documents. Open the trunk using the mechanical key if necessary and move the roof into the loading assistance position. Have a colleague help you to secure the roof in place with the supports. Use adhesive tape to attach the lower end of the support. This prevents it from slipping. Open the luggage compartment cover. Remove the spare tire cover. Then the spare tire or the tire fit package and the spare wheel well cladding. Release the strap holding the battery and place it to one side. Now you can open the foam cover on the hydraulic pump. We've removed it completely so that you can see the following steps better. Important. Open the two emergency opening valves a maximum of one rotation. Otherwise the Vario Roof Control Hydraulic Unit will be damaged. Leave the valves open until you reach the workshop. Now close the luggage compartment cover, remove the supports and lower the roof. This is easier if there are two of you. Once you've closed the trunk, use the grip to pull it upwards and to the rear until the frame has unlocked. To do this you must overcome a noticeable resistance. Now lift up the boot lid together with the frame completely to the rear. Support the boot lid. Open both front doors and lift the stored Varia roof out of the trunk by the two C-pillars. Then fold it forward until the locks rest on the windshield frame. We now continue in the interior. Remove the trim on the front part of the Varia roof. This allows you to access the new locks and the hydraulic cylinders. Open the locks so that these can latch into place on the windshield frame. Use a pair of pliers to completely engage both locks until you hear the limit stop click. Press both sides of the Varia roof downwards at the transition between the C-pillars and the front part of the Varia roof. This ensures that the C-pillar locks are completely engaged. Now pivot the boot lid lock into the locking eye on the frame and hold the top of the boot lid in place. You can fold in the side flaps of the rear shelf mechanically or with star diagnosis. You find the motor for the side flaps under Varia Roof Control in controllers. Then fold the boot lid together with the frame downwards and to the front. The boot lid trim must be removed in order to carry out the mechanical movement. Remove the securing ring from the electric motor's drive shaft.
we recommend attaching the ring to the actuator so that you can fit it again. Use a punch to remove the drive shaft from the electric motor. Once the side flaps are folded down, guide them past the frame. Then secure them on the boot lid panel. We recommend using adhesive tape. Now you can fold the boot lid and the frame downwards. Release the boot lid lock again using the emergency key and open the boot lid. Then unclip the cladding on the right of the frame. This enables you to disconnect the frame hydraulic cylinder. Position it so that it cannot be damaged. Add additional padding to the area. Then reattach the cladding. And refit the components which you've initially removed. Then press the boot lid and the frame downward until the frame has reached its end position and has locked into place. Attention! When the system is in this state, the anti-theft protection is not guaranteed, as the frame and the boot lid can be opened manually. Once you've refitted the cladding on the front part of the varia roof, close the side windows. Use star diagnosis if this doesn't function using the central control switch. That's all. With the vehicle in this condition, the customer can now drive to their Mercedes-Benz workshop.